Hello, Leo. I'm here to give you insight for the month of February 2024. We're going to take a look and see what the possible main energies are for you in the month of February. This is the last reading I'm doing. Saving the best for last. Leo, Leo, Leo. Damn, why y'all going crazy? Somebody's cloud chasing. Somebody's cutting cords. Think light and positive. So he encouraged to think light and positive. All right, Leo, Leo. Okay, still gonna pull four cards here. So we got holding on to pain past. So somebody's holding on to the pain or holding on to the past. Okay, so you could be doing this, Leo, or somebody that you know is doing this. Somebody is like bringing up the past or bringing up oh shit. Okay. Jealousy. So, Leo, someone is jealous of you. Maybe you're jealous of someone. There's a jealousy spirit. Okay. It makes a lot of sense. Somebody is holding on to the past. Maybe the past incident um, brought about some jealousy. Maybe some pain someone experienced brought about some jealousy. Codependency. So you could be uh, in a codependent situation, relationship. You may see somebody as codependent. Angry. So you're angry. Somebody's angry. And then we got drama. Lord, Leo, what? Okay. No, we ain't, we ain't got time for no drama. Use your wisdom. Use your wisdom, Leo. Okay. Somebody's dealing with some drama, Lord. Okay. Maybe you're seeing somebody as drama. Who knows? All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on for Leo. Leo, February. Let's see. Leo, what we got for Leo? All right, we got the three of skulls. We got the three of scepters. Three is the magic number. We got the five of scepters. We got the prince of grails. We got the nine of grails. Ooh, wee! Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay. I'm liking that a lot. Mm hmm. And then we got the five of grails. Boo, who, who. Okay. Two number fives here. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay. Mm. Leo, you're working on some things, okay? You're spinning the wheel, okay? You're spinning the wheel. I don't know if this is like a thread wheel. What is going on? So you're sort of trying to create something. Some of you are trying to create something long-term. Um, a new opportunity has presented itself here, okay? Uh, because you are putting the work in. This can be passing energy or this is energy that's going to be coming up. So I do see that you are working on something. And since you are putting the effort in, the time and energy in, you are seeing your, sh your ships come in. Okay, the ships coming in could be opportunities. All right. I also see for some of you, uh, this can be encouragement for, encouragement for you to put in the necessary work, especially if you're trying to weave something to life, whether that be a goal, whether that be, I don't know, that promotion you're wanting or recognition, whatever. You're encouraged to put the work in, okay? You're, this is the Lord of material material workings, okay? But it's going to require your strength. I feel like there are, there's some ops here. There's an opposition with the five of scepters, this could be negative energy being sent your way, Leo. Okay, maybe somebody is trying to distract you. It could even be fear. The five of scepters is, you know, five of wands. So it's um, the Lord of strife. Okay, so there's an the energy of having to defend yourself here. 
Okay, because I feel like for some of you Leos, you're trying to create something bigger, you're trying to create something in your life, but there is energy being sent your way, or there is an obstacle, whether that be within you, or outside of yourself here. Okay, like outside of yourself, whether that be like somebody sending it or just circumstantial, I see here, but I do see that you Leos are standing your ground. Okay, you putting the you putting the cross on that. Okay, demon panther whatever the hell that is okay you're standing your ground you're not running away from it all right um i was hearing being brave so some of you are heading to face your um face face the demon or face your demons or um you're needed to that kind of be strong enough to face your fears here we have the prince of grails and the nine of grails so you could be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio i have this in your chart Okay, I also see Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This could be conflict with another air sign, possibly. But with the Prince of Grails, this is somebody who has been there, done that. Okay, when it comes to love, when it comes to matters matters of the heart, the Prince of Grails is understanding that, yes, sometimes in love, um, you have to let go. You have to sacrifice. You have to make very hard decisions, right? But it's but he's not broken from these um, experiences. Even though the sp experiences, some of them have been pleasant, beautiful, but others of uh, other experiences weren't so perfect and beautiful. You know, they were nightmares. But here, the Prince of Grails stands here. Okay, the Prince of Grails has understanding. The Prince of Grails, I see here. Um, it's not his experiences has not stopped him from moving forward or from loving with the night of grails here so i feel like some of you could have been through some things relationship wise that were uh at times a beautiful a sweet dream and a beautiful nightmare here so i feel like some of you are experiencing this nine of grails this passion this wish fulfillment all of the good stuff but with the five of grills this is right behind it's right behind the vampire so this vampire could be you all right you could be you could be the woman or you could be the man take it as it resonates but but right behind the male vampire is the five of grills so this is loss of pleasures okay except last loss of excitement so there is maybe <sighs> somebody's holding on to some sadness holding on to some pain from the past things like that someone is needing to release this because this is the fucking problem here all right this is the fucking problem all right somebody is holding on to the sadness and uh, you know from the past um if this is not the person holding on from the sadness from the past this is negativity okay causing the sadness causing this unfulfillment i mean look at this i mean you have this nine of cups and you're over here feeling like the five of cups here right you have this wish fulfillment you have your man you have this person you have this dream whatever it, this nine of cups is you have this but this energy is sadness, unfulfilled, loss of pleasures and stuff. So it very well could be negative energy coming your way from afar, okay? Coming from an Aries or um, somebody with the Leo Sagittarius placement, okay? They're just, they're sending this energy your way, okay? That's for some of you, not all of you. Others of you, this is self-inflicted or this is the person that you're dealing with that's holding on to the sadness and this... You know, oh, unfulfilled, just, you know, things like that. Okay. What else am I seeing here, Leo? Um, there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that is feeling some type of way. They're feeling like jaded. Like they're feeling like, this is like, I think this is Mars and Scorpio. This is very sticky, dark, kind of low vibrational energy here. So it could very well be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that is in this energy because you have your wish fulfillment. Okay. Because you're getting what you want, because you're having your way. This person is in this five of, five of grails energy. Okay. I mean, you see here, they have an inverted 
<laughs> inverted star on their chest here. Okay, so very low vibrational in my opinion. Um, what is this five of grills? What is this five of grills? I was hearing working, instead of working with me, you're working against me. So it could be an energy you're experiencing, Leo. Maybe the energies, you feel like the energies are working against you instead of with you. Or this person's energy is working against what you're trying to uh, achieve. Okay. The five of grills is the star. So there is a... Um, an Aquarius that is feeling some type of way about you, okay, feeling sad about you, maybe because you're living your best life, maybe because they fear you're going to be in this Nine of Cups energy, or they see you in this Nine of Cups in energy, whether that be having the man or woman you want, having your way, doing what the hell you want, okay, following your heart, this person's having a hard time here, that this, this Aquarius here, um, for some of you, this person could be concealing this, they're not letting it be known, um, for others of you, um, this, this person sees that you are a star and they are literally being a stalker, fucking weirdo. Okay. They're in the background. Okay. Lighting candles. All right. This is somebody with Aquarius like energy. I can't even put the damn thing right here. Okay. This person, I don't know if you can see them, they're in the back while you're manifesting while you're doing your thing, all right, they're sitting there watching you, Leo, okay, because they have nothing else better to do. This is a red candle, so somebody is wanting some type of control or, um, um, and it looks like the candle wax is dripping down their hand. So this person is either wanting some type of control or something okay or they're wanting to exert some type of dominance over you or some type of dominance over what you have created leo i see here okay but you already for some of you leos you already know what <laughs> what the deal is like you see it okay let me see the leos that know what is up what what are what are they doing the leos that know what's up what, what are they doing Okay, the Leos that know what's up, <laughs> Prince of Scepters, the Leos that know what's up, okay, they ready, they're like, okay, I see you, but I'm going to keep doing my thing, and I have a mission, like, the Leos that know what these people are up to, okay, um, they're, they're still moving forward, these Leos are moving forward, they, they're not worried about um, this energy here, okay. I was hearing they're ready for war. So some of you Leos could be wet, ready for war in a spiritual matter because you, excuse me, in a spiritual manner because you, you see what time it is, okay? So it's like you're ready for war, whatever this is, okay? In a spiritual manner, not like physical. All right. Um, This could also be somebody see that sees that you are healing, that you're overcoming, all right? What else am I getting from this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's somebody that's kind of butt hurt here. You're moving on. There's like an energy of moving on, not really giving this energy attention but if you happen to give this energy attention it'll be like it's it's the energy of like bulldozing okay it's like an energy of removing okay you're like bulldozing through the through this bullshit here okay um if that's not the case it's just this is encouragement for you to heal and move on with the five of cut with the five of grails energy that's sad shit okay sadness and all that low vibrational you're encouraged to heal and move the fuck on okay so you can have this nine of nine of cups energy you can hold on to that energy what is the five of scepters energy giving what is this five of scepters giving
there is somebody definitely uh, feeling some type of way because of what you have. Um, what you have going on. Okay, so the five of scepters is the empress. Okay, Libra, Taurus energy here. So there could be a conflict with an empress. Or there is an energy of someone defending your honor, Leo. Okay, so, so somebody could be defending your honor or defending you. The five of scepters um, with this woman holding a cross here. This very well could be you, like you're defending your throne, defending the palace here. Okay, like you're not shying away here. So I was hearing showing up and showing out, Leo. So you are pretty much standing your ground here, whatever this five of scepters is. I was hearing that you're holding your own. You're in the front lines here. So I do see that. Um, oh God, what else do we got going on here? Nine of grills. What else? What else do I want to get clarification on? Um, what is this Nine of Girls giving? What is this wish fulfillment? This lovely energy. What is this? What is this Nine of Girls? The Nine of Girls is the Lord of Knives. Ooh, we okay. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, I was hearing having your way. So you're having your way, okay? Um, and if it feels like when it comes to your mind, when it comes to communication, when it comes to strategy, you are very strategic. All right. I also feel like this is an air sign person that you are connected with. Okay. This is, could be somebody that wants you. All right. This is giving me third party um, situation for some of you. Um, for some of you Leos here. So you could be involved with somebody and somebody is feeling some type of way. There's like another person on the outside that's feeling some type of way. This person wants to wish fulfillment with you. It could be an air sign person. It could be um, Pisces as well. Somebody's wanting their way with you. As well. For some of you, they may not be able to have access to you. I was hearing they want to penetrate you. That's weird. Or maybe not. Who knows? Okay. Um, all right. But I do see like strategy. Okay. Having your wish fulfillment because of your strategy, because of your mind here. Um, I was hearing for some of you Leos, maybe you're wanting someone. Maybe that maybe you're wanting wanting this nine of grills. Like you're trying to manifest this. Okay, what else do we got here? What is the three of skulls? What is Leo working on? The three of skulls is the daughter of skulls. So you're definitely working on like trying to maybe improve your finances or trying to I don't know. You're trying to materialize something. Okay. And, and what you're trying to materialize has something to do with material things like money, security, things like that. So you are um, doing, you could be doing spiritual work to attain this. Okay. For some of you, there's some work being done behind the scenes. The Knight of Skull definitely could talk about magic and things like that. All right. Some of you very well could be dealing with somebody from afar. Okay, four of grails. There's somebody that's trying to drain you, Leo, okay, energetically. With the four of grails, they're trying to drain you. And they could be trying to drain you with magic. I know it sounds crazy, but <laughs> there are people out there. They're literally trying to drain you, all right? This very well could be a cancer that's doing this, a cancer. They could be trying to, they're doing some type of work. They could be doing head work, okay, where they're trying to drain you, like drain you of your essence. But I do see that you, some of you Leos are ready for it. You see what's up. <laughs> All right, this is crazy. And uh, yeah, 
good luck to whoever is doing that and this has gone on way too fucking long this reading should have already been close to done but you know oh shit leo what is the tea on you what is going on leo what is going on what's the tea on leo leo I don't know. The drama card came out, you know, and then we had the five of scepters, which is five of wands. That's all about drama. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, Leah, do you love the drama? <laughs> all right, Leo, Leo. What's the tea on Leo for the month of February? Give me six cards. Give me six cards. Leo, what's the T on Leo? What's the T on Leo? In their life. Leo, Lord. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. They just pick randomly. Okay, human chameleon. Who are they really? Okay, so we are dealing with a chameleon, somebody who changes a lot. Um, okay, I was hearing they're not keeping it real or they just change with their environment or they change when certain people come around. People can be seeing you as a chameleon. They don't really know who you are, okay? Maybe you have a very mysterious, you know, air about you, okay? Overactive imagination and imagines things that are not true, okay? So somebody, somebody could see you as such or this is somebody that you're dealing with. They have an overactive imagination and um, they imagine things that are not true, okay? So there could be some something going on um, for some. This could be, let's talk about substance maybe, you know, maybe there's an issue with substance abuse you know where somebody is maybe hallucinating or they're in some type of psychosis or something like that love triangle someone is playing with fire wow so there's a love triangle somebody is interfering in your love life leo or somebody sees you as such maybe you're involved in a love triangle so somebody is playing with fire you need to be very careful Okay, I've seen it so many times on the ID channel where there's somebody who enters into a third party situation knowingly or unknowingly and somebody ends up getting killed or some crazy shit ends up happening. So be very careful. I do pick up on, you know, someone interfering in your relationship, trying and the fire, you could be the fire that this person is playing with. Okay, and maybe they shouldn't be trying to play games like that. Okay, maybe they don't know what they're dealing with. Okay. For some of you, not all of you. All right, they really care about you, but they have, they are having difficulty expressing it. So there is someone that really cares about you, Leo, but they're having a hard time or difficulty expressing it. Somebody could see you as such, okay? Drug addiction to ease pain and anxiety. So somebody is dealing with drug addiction here. Or some type of addiction. It makes a lot of sense because it's right underneath the overactive imagination. So somebody is literally on um, drugs, okay, substances, and they are in their own world pretty much, okay? So this could be somebody that you don't even know, Leo, or you may know them, okay? And they have issues, okay, uh, substance abuse issues, and they have their own scenario going on in their head, okay, um, that involves you, <laughs> All right. Or somebody could see you as such. Fake friend secretly wants you to fail and tries to be better than you. So you got a fake friend around you. Okay. If this is not a friend, this is an associate. This person could um, also be inter interjecting themselves in your relationship. Okay. But there is a fake friend, someone who wants you to fail. Okay. Or they try to be better than you. Okay. And yeah, like who the hell wants to be friends with somebody like that? Okay. Somebody could see you as such. Take it as it resonates. All right. Put on blast for their toxic internet schemes. So you could be putting somebody on blast for their toxic internet schemes or somebody could be doing that to you. All right. Mm. Leo, Leo, message for Leo, 
Conditional message for Leo to help bring them clarity, understanding, awareness. Three cards for Leo, three cards for Leo, three cards for Leo. Spirit was also telling me with the card that um, says it was the imagination or something or whatever. Um, somebody could have their own, I was hearing fictitious. Somebody could have their own belief system and they're kind of in their own world. Like they're on a different program, okay? Like a totally different program. Pure, uh, pure, 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 purification. So we got water. And she naked, so I gotta be careful with that. There's some naked people here. Okay. Now, and more nakedness. Okay. So we got water. Okay, emotional cleansing, rejuvenation. So emotional clearing, rejuvenation. Okay, so you're needing to do some emotional cleansing. It makes a lot of sense because we saw the five of cups. And to clarify that, we had the, had the star card, which is about healing. So you're encouraged to cleanse your emotions, okay, in order to feel rejuvenated, um, in order to feel a sense of peace and calm, okay? Some of you are needing to work with the element of water, okay? So you're needing some emotional cleansing. The ninth, nine of hearts makes a lot of sense because we had the nine of grails that came out. So fulfillment, harmony, protection. So you're feeling fulfilled. You're, um, I was hearing you're having your way. You're getting what you're, you're wanting. Um, but the common denominator is harmony. You're needing to maintain harmony in your life, your environment in order to feel fulfilled, in order to feel a sense of protection as well. So I really feel like the harmony is going to be the common denominator for you, Leo. Okay. So if you've been experiencing like that five of scepters, five of wands type of energy, take action towards harmonizing the situation. Okay. Do what you have to do to create that harmony. Okay. Because I feel like a lot of you are wanting harmony. You're wanting peace. You're wanting balance. Okay. I keep seeing, I keep hearing having it your way. <laughs> And then we have attachment. So letting go, restriction, fear. So you're needing to let go of the fear. Restriction. Did I mention that earlier in the reading? Maybe. No. Maybe I did. No. No. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it's in the other reading. So um, you need to release any attachments that have been weighing you down. These attachments could be negative energies that you're experiencing. So you're needing to free yourself from this. Cut cords, all right? Any toxic cords that you have connected to a situation, a person, place, or things, cut those cords, okay? Release the fears as well. I was hearing tied up, hemmed up. So for some of you, you feel really stuck. Like you literally feel stuck. And so you're definitely going to have to um, to do some things to release yourself, okay, from these energies. Um, these are could be spiritual practices that you need to partake in, all right? It could be meditation. Uh, it could be cleansing, cl taking spiritual baths, things like that. And then the bottom of the deck, we have dream. And it says something is revealed, insight, breakthrough. So something is revealed to you, Leo. And so you have this insight and you're able to break free from whatever this is. Maybe the insight that, is, that you're getting, okay, or what's being revealed to you is your power. Maybe you're, you're recognizing your power and you're seeing your strength, okay? It makes a lot of sense with the three of wands in the beginning of the reading, um, three of wands is the Lord of establishing strength. Okay. So maybe you are recognizing your power. You're seeing your strength. Maybe you're, um, releasing yourself from drugs, substances, take it as it resonates. Okay. Cause we did pull the codependency card here. All right. Leo, Leo message for Leo going forward message for Leo going forward 
message for Leo going forward. I don't know why I was, I was hearing guilty by association. So just being aware of the people that are around you, the people that don't have your best interest, the people that are trying to bring you down. Okay. Four cards for Leo. Okay, that's three. We got water here again, too. I need some water for myself. I'm like... That was good. All right. All right. The other side is your real home. And it's possible that you will feel a form of homesickness while in this life. So for some of you, you feel like an alien. You don't feel like you belong here. For some of you, you, it's, you have a hard time maybe connecting with others. Um, maybe because of, I don't know, your spiritual path. Maybe you're more of a spiritual person. The people that you're trying to connect with are not really that deep or spiritual. It could be something else, okay? But there's an energy of longing to be home, longing to be, to belong to maybe, um, you know, people with the, with like who are like-minded, okay? Something like that. All right. Um, so just understanding this here. So we have helping others and getting outside yourself can be the most powerful method of soul cleansing. So cleansing is coming out again. We have water. So some of you are needing to um, get outside of yourself, you know, be of service, give back to others, help, you know, I keep hearing be of service. So some of you are feeling um, kind of maybe down or feeling, I don't know. I don't know, low vibrational. Helping someone could actually help you in return because you're making a difference in somebody else's life. And, you know, you see the happiness on their face. You see, you know, the appreciation, you know, and that can make you feel really good. So get outside of yourself and help those, you know, in need. And then we have look at today as the beginning of a new and positive you and let go of the past. Look at that. Somebody was holding on to the past. So it could be you, Leo, holding on to the past in pain. All right. Makes a lot of sense because, you know, some Leos, they be holding grudges because they have a big heart. Okay. So, um, yeah, just uh, focus on the positivity in your life and let go of the past. What you worry about now will resolve itself if you're patient and let your chart unfold. So this is the energy of letting go and letting God. This is, um, I was hearing like allowing nature to take its course. Um, I was also hearing, um, I'm not going to sit back and allow someone to destroy like my life or my situation. So for some of you, you are probably not going to take this. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, maybe some of you are going to take steps forward towards resolving this issue, you're going to take a step forward or take action towards resolving this issue, and then you're going to pull back. I do see that here. But some of you are needing to be patient and allow things to unfold on their own. Okay, I kept hearing divine timing, divine order. So Leo, this is the end of your reading, and God bless.